Hello YouTubers, GuitarMan3YT here and welcome to my next video. This video is the next uh, unboxing of my latest guitar project and it's not going to be quite as crazy as my last one because this one is an acoustic guitar. I actually put this on layaway, I didn't order it online, I put this on layaway at a pawn shop way back in October and I actually kind of forgot about it. <laughs> They called me the other day and reminded me I needed to come pick it up before I lost it. So, luckily I had the money to go do that. And once I saw it, then I remembered why, why I bought it. Because this is going to be an acoustic guitar project. And when I saw this guitar on the rack, I thought, man, that looks like a Taylor. Looks like a Taylor Grand Auditorium. And nowhere near the price tag. So I'm going to kind of do my best to turn this Oscar Schmidt. See, numbers on here somewhere. What is it? It is a Oscar Schmidt O A C E F N slash A. And it is basically a copy of a Taylor Grand Auditorium. Or in my opinion, anyway, I think it is. Okay. So. What I like about this the most is it has a flame top. You don't see too many natural guitars with a flame top. As far as acoustics go, anyway. Look at that though, isn't that pretty? Oscar Schmidt. Anywho, this guitar was originally $239. I got it on sale for $219. And it comes with the Adario bronze uh, coated phosphor bronze strings. I believe they're 10 to 47. Might be a little bit heavier. I like the 1047, so if they're not, I'll put 1047s on there, but I couldn't get over that flame top for 200 bucks. It's a really nice looking guitar. And once I went and picked it up, I did some research online to see some specs on it. And this is actually a Catalpa, I think it's called Catalpa wood top that's flamed. The sides and back are rosewood, and the neck is mahogany. And I'm not sure what the fretboard is. Kind of looks like ebony, but I don't know. I doubt it's ebony, but it's darker than rosewood. Uh, none of the specs that I looked saw said what that was. And a nice looking little saddle. Double binding. Just regular sealed tuners. But like I say, I'm gonna turn this, I'm gonna make this project, I'm gonna try to do it as close to a tailor as I can. I plan on getting some different bridge pins. I saw some, some gold or brass bridge pins. I'm gonna get a new uh, so we call it the saddle. This whole thing is a, a saddle, but we get that new piece right there out of bone. I'm gonna get a bone nut for it. I'm gonna get some new tuners for it. I'm gonna get some of those gold, gold plated butter bean tuners, I think, that like Taylor uses. Okay, I'm gonna. Decorate the fretboard instead of the white dot inlays. I'll get some nice abalone custom inlays for it, and I might try to find a uh, 
sound hole ring, some pearl abal or abalone for the sound hole ring, and I'm gonna get a, a nice tailor looking pit guard. They have that one that kind of looks like a bird that goes right here. I saw some of those, they're gonna be really cool. And I might even change up this pickup here. It's got. It's got a Barkus, Barkus Berry, which isn't too bad, depending on how it sounds. Might go ahead and switch the pickup out. I've never done it on an acoustic guitar before. So anyway, that's my review of how it's built and, and what I'm going to do to it. And then, now, let's hear how she sounds.